Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to review the first quarter because I've finally got to the end of the first three months of my journaling journey for this book. And we'll see what worked, what didn't work and what I can use for next time. Because um, as we move into quarter two we only want to keep the pages that are the most sensible. Um, as always, even though we're doing a review I'm still going to use coloured pens everywhere because that's just the way that I do it. Um, so the idea of this is to look at what worked, what didn't work and what we can change for next time or what I can change for next time. So um, I'm going to start with what worked. The um, word of the quarter was actually really interesting. It did keep it to the forefront of my mind. So I do feel like I've done more things to improve my confidence. I feel my confidence has improved. And I have more belief in what I can do. So I feel like that was really successful. So we'll be taking that into the next quarter. Um, same with level 10 life. I did go back and refer to it on occasion to see what I could do. And the go it was good to have goals to work towards. And having them written down just made them so much more um, real. And that meant I was more, more likely to work towards them. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of, you know, how much progress I've made on the level 10 life. I don't think it's going to be loads, but it's it's small progresses, but it's a big change. Um, so it's all good at the end of the day. Um, some things that maybe didn't work quite so well. Um, the pantry list, it worked really well. Um, I just don't think it needs to be once a quarter. I think it could be just at the beginning of the book and then um, we just use it for the whole... I use it for the whole time it's there. Um, I don't feel like there's anything to be gained by um, copying it out. So um, the only other thing to do is was written to-do lists. Um, I have to-do lists. I have them on bits of paper. I do have a bit of a thing which is actually to-do lists. But I don't find that it actually worked having it in this journal and um, I didn't find that I was doing it as much. Um, so I think we're going to ditch to-do lists in this journal. I, we're still going to do to-do lists, just not quite in the same way that I've tried to do them in the journal over the last quarter. Um, so yeah, so some things work, some things didn't, some things I'll be taking out, some things I'll be changing. Um, yeah, I don't think there'll be many pages going forward into quarter two, which is a real shame. But, you know, we only need to have what we need, to, what works. Um, as far as the monthly pages go, I will be ditching the spending tracker because I've just found that I have not been using it. It's not a case of not wanting to use it, I just haven't been. And for two months I've not been using it, so I'm thinking it's better to... Um, maybe park that one for the moment um, I have introduced meal tracking though because I'm really looking thinking about my weight and my health as part of my level 10 life and because I just want to and I've put in some pages about that so those will get carried forward over to the next quarter so moving forward um, as I say it's going to be more health orientated as well as mindfully orientated um so that's a good thing and yeah there'll be less pages but the more pages that i've got will do more of what i need them to do rather than um just sitting there looking pretty or not looking pretty depending on which way you look at it okay so moving on i'm going to continue the good work on my on building my resilience building my confidence with my word of the macorta and I'm going to continue to work on the goals that I've already set for my level 10 life last quarter. But change out the ones that I maybe have started to actually accomplish. Um, I also want to start working on more on my reading journal. As I'm finding that, that those videos are the ones that make me really happy at the moment. And I also want to get a structure to my channel. Because when I have a structure of being able of, um of posting at, at, at the same times every week I feel like I've got something to work towards and I think that's just a better thing for everyone for those watching it they know when it's coming and for me who's then got to who's then got to make it work and make it happen um, I also want to start a crafting journal because I really want to get really back into that I put it on my self care bingo every month and it doesn't get coloured in and it's like no nope, let's do it let's go forward and just plan how we're going to do it and divide and conquer um, I'm also going to start 101 things in 1001 days and that's going to have its own journal but that's for a different video 
so that is i'm just going to write in my headers that is our reflections on quarter one um yeah so i think it's been a really useful exercise i feel like i've used it more so although i may have moved away a little bit from the bullet journaling method i do think that this is what works best for me so in that case i'm just going to continue as as well continue and move forward as i've just said because at the end it's got to it's got to it's all right having a system but it's got to work um for you okay so as we pootle into quarter two um i've decided that this month it's going to be dreams rainbows and all things nice so um i've got a quote as per usual and it's about it's because be an inspiration live a colorful life live in the moment bring unexpected joy be someone to look up to and show your true colors which i thought was a really good quote for quarter two um i decided to do a watercolor picture again for this one and i was thinking about what i what i've always dreamed to do so bear with this is going to be a bit radical um so i've decided that there's a picture of me up next to or with the sydney opera house behind me um it's something i've always wanted to do um one day i might actually do it i don't know but it's always good to have dreams and it's always good to have something that you know one day it might be a one day it might not be a one day but dreams like that are really important in life and that's one thing that you know i want to encourage is things that you know one day i might get there one day i might not get there i might change my mind but it's it's there and there's a there's a point to it being there so at the moment i'm outlining everything and then what i will do is i will paint it but i won't um subject you all to me nattering through that i will put over a um nice bit of music for you to enjoy while you're watching it be painted at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on Try to say goodbye 
look at me I don't know what happened Guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them But we got tired There's nothing left to do But to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you Only wish that I knew how to go on Together, even if we tried, we'd be stuck here forever. I don't understand right now how to make it through. But I'll get over you when it's not like I'm gonna hate you. It's what it is, nothing left that we could do. Even though it hurts right now, we will make it through. I'll get over you. I'll get over you. When I met you, we were like fireworks Thought nothing could break us, but oh how we got burned Look at us now, we scream, we fight, and no one knows the reason We're both getting out of line mm -mm. Now say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you, only wish that I knew how to go on Okay, moving on to word of the quarter. This time I need to take the lid off that pen. It's going to drive me nuts. I apologise for the poor focus because it's reading the bottom of my pen. Okay, so I decided that this quarter's word is beautiful. And that's not necessarily about beautiful and, you know, it all being very subjective as to how people look. It's more about being beautiful inside, doing beautiful things, having beautiful things, you know, and just being really happy with what you've got and happy with the life that you the beautiful life that you lead and you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder so i'm quite worried out how that's going to manifest into real life yet but there's still time we've got the whole quarter so what i'm doing is i'm just putting a rainbow above it which i'm going to color in with my crayola super tips and i'm also going to color in the letters um in the color of the rainbow so yeah i'm very excited about that and then we'll add to it in a future video once i've worked out what it does some 
both know couldn't work So we should try to say goodbye You know we had our problems So now we have to try to move on Baby, you and me, we're so messed up together